Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and November is here. So it's the time of the month when I show you guys some of the best new apps that you must have on your device during the month. So November is here and here are 10 must have apps of November 2020. All right, let's start it off with the camera app. It is called Front Back. Now what it does, it allows to shoot with both cameras at the same time. So the rear camera and the front facing camera. You can see right here, a very simple interface. You will have a flashlight right there. You will have right here the minutes of the video recording. And then here we'll have the option to zoom out and zoom in. And here we'll have the front facing camera. Now you can actually move this around anywhere you want. You can also resize it right there. Now once you have moved it on a place and you tap record, you will be able to still move it anywhere even though you're still recording the video. Once you're done, tap right there and of course it is saved on the camera roll of your device. As easy as that, you can shoot with both cameras at the same time. Now unfortunately this will work only on the newer devices on the iPhone XS and newer because of the hardware limitations on the older devices. Watch Facely is the next app for the video. Now since watchOS 7, you have the ability to share watch faces that you have created with other people. And with this app, you will be able to discover those watch faces that have been shared by other people and of course download them to your Apple Watch. Now here's the home screen of the app. You have a search bar at the top and then right here will have some of the most popular watch faces that have been shared on this app. You can browse by tags, you will have here the most loved composers and you will have the recent watch faces here and different collections. Right here will have the watch faces that you have favorited and then here will have your watch faces and you can learn here actually the steps on how you can share your own watch faces on this app. Now I want to get one of these watch faces. All you have to do is just go ahead, tap on it and tap add Apple watch face and this will open it on the Apple Watch app and of course you will be able to download this and this will of course automatically be moved to your Apple Watch. As easy as that you can go ahead and download new watch phases for your Apple Watch. The next app for the video is called Live Wallpaper. Now this is one of the rare live wallpaper apps that you can download from the App Store. It has some beautiful wallpapers and they're free to download. So right here is the home screen. This is very simple here. You have a search bar at the top. You have a featured wallpaper. So you will have the top downloads. Of course, you can tap on see all to see the complete list right here. And then you can go ahead and go to the categories right here. We'll have different categories. Of course, you can move to any one of them and then just tap on one of them. And you can see right here it is loading. Once it's loaded, you can see a preview of that wallpaper and how it will look on the lock screen. 3D touch on the screen and it shows you a preview of the wallpaper. Tap right here to go back and of course tap the download button and as easy as that, you will have that wallpaper downloaded to the camera roll of your iPhone. Video is the next app for the video. Now this is a video editor that allows to apply filters to your videos and of course do other stuff as well like adjust the exposure, the separation and all that stuff. So here we have a bunch of different filters that we can go ahead and apply to this video. Now not just apply them, you can also change the intensity of the filter with the slider right here. So you can see we have a bunch of different filters right here that we can apply to the video. Now once you're done with that, you can just swipe up and you will have a ton of different sliders right here that you can adjust. Things like exposure, contrast, shadows, vibrance right here, clarity, serration, and all that. So with just a move of a slider, you can go ahead and adjust anything you want. Now, if you're not satisfied with the result, you can always tap right here to restore to defaults. Tap right there once you're done. And of course, this will be saved under the camera roll of your device. Repeat YouTube video is the next app for this video. Now, what it does, it allows us to play YouTube videos and repeat them after they have finished. This is a feature that you cannot find on the YouTube app. So if you're like playing a song or something like that and you want it to repeat always, you can go ahead and use this app. Now to do this, you need to open the video first on the YouTube app. After you have done that, you tap the share button, go right here, tap on more and find here repeat YouTube video, tap right there and you can just go ahead and now go to the repeat YouTube video app and this will play the video for you. Now you can basically set when you want the video to start and to end. So right there, I can move the video here and tap on start and that will be the start where it will start playing the video the next time and this right here will be the end. 
right there we have the repeat button so if you tap right there it will repeat the video every time it is over or it is finished to the point that you have set the end picture in picture player is the next app for this video you know that when playing videos on the camera roll on the photos app you won't be able to play those on the picture in picture mode but you can do that using this app all you have to do is just load the app go to the camera roll here and just choose the video and it will display right here once you got the video here you can tap to play it and you can see right here will have the ability to take it to the picture in picture mode so these are videos again that are saved on the photos app you won't be able by default to play them on the picture in picture mode but you can do that using this app Next up is Icon Changer. Now, since iOS 14, people have been going crazy about customizing the home screen of their device using widgets, of course, and custom icons. Now, with Icon Changer, you will be able to create your own custom icons. You will have here Theme Launcher, which basically allows you to download any of these themes that are here. You can save the wallpaper, you can see of that theme, and you can go ahead and install the icons as well. But you can also create your own icons. Just go to my icon right here, tap the plus button on there and you will be able to create any icon you want you can add text here like if you tap right there you can go ahead and for example add an emoji and create an icon out of that emoji so we'll have here image shape you will have font color font size and all that stuff and you can add a border to this icon as well so let's just go ahead and choose one of these here so once you have entered the name as well Let's go ahead and tap that. You will be able to actually now create an icon. Just tap here to select the app to which you want to open, of course, using this icon. So let's go ahead and choose one right here. Let's go with Safari or let's go with Wallet here. And now I can go ahead and create this icon. So what it will do, open this on Safari and just go ahead and tap right here, share and add to home screen. You can go ahead and still change the name right there tap add here and you will have now that icon right here on the home screen of your device and of course as easy as that you can use it to open the app that you have selected video to live is a new app that allows you to create live wallpapers for the lock screen of your ios 14 device now you can turn your videos that you have saved on the camera roll into live wallpapers so all you gotta do is just go to the app here and just select the video that you want to use and click the convert button now what this will do is of course go ahead and convert this into a live photo you can go ahead and change here the aspect ratio of the wallpaper of course to make it fit with the lock screen and then tap the continue button now once you're here you can go to key photo and choose the key photo right here now the key photo is the photo that will display on the lock screen of your device when you're not playing the wallpaper now once you're done with that you can tap right here you can add a few filters if you want to and then of course tap on convert now and this will go ahead and convert this and save it under the camera roll of your device once you're done with that you can go ahead and apply it as a lock screen wallpaper and it will basically add like a full video to your lock screen and have a full video as a lock screen wallpaper next up is gif skip gif skip is an app that allows you to discover beautiful gifs and also save them on your device not just save them as gifts you can also save them as live wallpapers and apply them to the lock screen of your device so here is the app the home screen is very simple all you have here at the top is a search bar you will have your favorites right there and then you have different categories of course that you can go ahead and choose from you will have here like gaming food and all that stuff now once you're here you have found a gift that you like you can go ahead and tap on it and then tap the little share button right there and this will give you a pop-up with four different options right here is where you can go ahead and download it as mp4 as a gift or you can go ahead and convert this into a live photo and that will allow you to set this gift as a live wallpaper on the lock screen of your device and last but not least is Memoji Background. This is a new app that allows you to turn your Memoji stickers into photos that of course you can share anywhere you want. Now here's the app, it is very simple to use. You tap right here, chose the keyboard, and here we'll have of course your Memoji stickers to tap right there to show more. And you can go ahead and add there any one of them. Of course they will display right there. Tap here on set Memoji. And now what you can do from here is go ahead and choose the background that you want to add 
to that Memoji. So you will have different backgrounds here, different colors. You can see a lot of them are free and some of them are paid as well. So you can just go ahead and choose whichever one you want. Now, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and tap the save button and this will save it automatically to the camera roll of your device. Now you can use this to share your Memoji sticker anywhere you want on the social media or anywhere else. So that is it for this video guys, these are 10 apps that you must have on your device during November 2020. Most of these apps are of course useful, some of them are just fun apps that you might use sometimes and of course have fun with your device. So that's basically it, thank you guys for watching. If you like any of these apps and you want to download them to your device, make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment, you will find all the links there.